Hello and welcome once again to the Land Rover Toolbox videos. Today we're going to have a look at testing a thermostat. Right, well some people wouldn't bother testing a thermostat, they would just take it out and replace it. That would be the first big mistake. The reason we test things for diagnostics is to make sure that the component that we think is at fault is actually at fault. This will save a lot of time and hassle, especially if you have to get advice from a forum. Right, well I'm going to explain the thermostat itself, and there is a misconception. It does not cool the engine. I don't need to make it too obvious here. The thermostat is part of a cooling system. Okay, well its real job is to maintain the running temperature of the engine. It also restricts or allows the coolant flow to the radiator. Description here from the uh, K-series engine which is fitted to the Freelander. Um, the last little bit I'll read out to you. If you want to stop it and read the whole lot it's up to you. But when the coolant temperature reaches approximately 88 degrees centigrade the thermostat begins to open and is fully open approximately 102 degrees centigrade. Now this does not count for all thermostats. In this case this is an 88 degree um, wax stat which is out of the 200 TDI engine which also is relevant to the 300 TDI. One of the components on this is the jiggle pin here which lets air out when you're bleeding the system. Right, well cooling systems, descriptions, alright, if you look at thermostat opening this has 88 degrees, this is a 3.9 VAI. Be careful, check the manual for what your thermostat rating actually is. Workshop manuals will also tell you the expansion tank cap pressure, in this case 15 psi, and we'll cover this in a later tutorial. But generally you're going to be looking under general specification data, in this case is the MPI, cooling system, MPI, down there, thermostat 88 degrees, which is the rating for that engine. The 300 TDI here is also 88 degrees, that's written as thermostat opening. The correct amount of data what you should see, cooling system, starts to open, 82 to 86 degrees centigrade, thermostat fully open at 88 degrees centigrade, and to get technical, the open travel 9 millimeters. Now this is the thermostat for the Discovery MPI engine, which is not very common, however it's just a note to remember. Okay, so just a quick look at the thermostat and its construction. You really just need to know that it will work. However, if you want to stop the video and read what the components are, here you are. Okay, well with a little bit of psychic magic, I've actually managed to make this open. Watch this. This is the thermostat and how it opens at a certain temperature. It starts to open and it will be fully open at a certain point, okay? Now you see the movement of the whole body there. This part here is the uh, bypass shut off, okay, on the thermostat. Now you see that moves with the whole body as it opens. And this job is to shut off the bypass hose, which is here, between the water pump and the thermostat housing, as it lets the water flow in a different direction. And uh, just to make sure that you know that the pipe is here, if whenever you take the thermostat housing off, you'll see where the flow can change. Just so you don't think I'm making all this up, this is actually a um, procedure that we're going to go through. Looking at the thermostat at the bottom, test here, number six. What we're looking for is uh, in hot water to observe the temperature at which the thermostat begins to open and it's satisfactory open between 85 degrees and 89. Now the rating is 88 degrees centigrade on this thermostat. So, what we're going to do is, uh, with our thermostat, you'll usually see a rating on the top of it, 88 degrees C. Okay, so that's a rated thermostat for the 300 TDI engine. Okay, happily retiring to the kitchen, I have a thermometer here. It's a laser type, but you could still use something else. Water's at 85 degrees and it's going up quickly. As you see, I'm heating it on a, uh, in a pan. You can see it's now starting to open and I'll check that's 86 degrees centigrade so that is within spec if you watch that that is moving and it's opening 
Right, I'm going to lift this out here and you'll see that it's open. Check the temperature of the water again and it's 88 degrees. Alright, so the thermostat itself is working. I'll haul it out here and you can see it's fully open at this point. So this thermostat actually works. Okay, that's not a problem. That's how you test them to see if they work. It's as simple as that. Okay, just to add to this test, this is now out of water so it's cooling down and you can see that the thermostat itself is closing. What you need to check as well to make sure that it closes completely. The idea behind having it sealed completely is that it will stop the water flow um, to the radiator and warm up the engine so it's keeping it at a right temperature. Okay, well I hope that's been a help to you. We've got more tutorials coming and uh, we will look further into the cooling system, draining it, antifreeze, checking the radiator and diagnosing problems, so stay tuned.